Hello and welcome to The Sassy Show with me, Bethany. So I've taken a bit of time out from updating my YouTube channel because every video I put up got removed. I think it might have been something to do with um, the fact that I was trying to show my vulva. I've moved all of that content onto the sassyshow.com website where you're welcome to watch and see as I open up my legs and look inside and think about all those things that make us women. We see penises all the bloody time. Everyone knows how to draw a penis, yet very few of us actually know how to draw a vulva that we'd rather not see. We just want to put our pants on and keep those things nicely tucked away, preferably hair free. Well, I don't want to be like that. I want to really show a different example of what our bodies can look like and be talked about as and the fact that we don't even know how to label it says a lot. I still get it a bit confused. Is, is this my cervix and if I go through my cervix do I then get to my uterus? Or where are my ovaries? And okay, I've got two ovaries. You know, all these questions are actually, they might seem a bit silly when you're asking them to yourself or to a, to a camera, but fuck it. I'm gonna change that. So get over to the website, have a look, indulge and enjoy. This episode isn't going to be any kind of nudity. Our menstrual cycle is also another topic that I absolutely bloody love. I find it interesting because my own experience has meant that at stages in my life I've really not liked having my period. I related it to fertility, I related it to my abortion, I related it to things that brought me shame and guilt and embarrassment and a whole load of emotions. Today, my menstrual cycle is something that I really want to get to know. I want to track it. I want to look at the blood. I want to smell the blood. I want to experience everything about my menstrual cycle and enjoy it and understand and learn from it. However, <laughs> I was boiling my menstrual cup to sanitize it and I forgot about it. I left the pan on the hob the whole thing boiled dry, there was this awful smell like burnt hair. <laughs> My moon cup was all brown and burnt on one side. I decided that it had to be a sign. It must be a sign. It's a sign that actually I shouldn't be using my menstrual cup anymore. I should be using nothing. I'm deciding that this is going to be a month where I don't use sanitary towels, I don't use tampons, I'm not going to use a cup. I'm just going to freely bleed and see what happens. <sighs> I mean, I think we know what happens. I'm going to be staining all of my clothes with blood. I'm going to be getting myself into slightly soggy situations. I just want to like bleed. So um, I'm going in for it and um, let's see what happens. Alrighty, so I am putting on my favourite period pants. These are ones that I've already soiled with blood. Horrible expression. Um, I love these pants to bits, they're so comfortable. I don't know whose they are, I found them in my drawer one day. <laughs> I've kept them ever since, lovely. Um, they're from Debenhams, they're a size 12. Just a, a nice pair of cotton pants. So I'm going to be wearing these today on day one of my period without using protection. Um, and I'm going to see how it goes. Maybe I can wash these again tonight and wear them again tomorrow. I mean, the ideal situation is that Thinks Pants would sponsor me and send me a pair of those great knickers because they're too expensive and I want them for free. <laughs> I want all women to have them for free. They should be subsidised. That would be fantastic. I mean, one pair costs, I don't know, 20 odd quid. Which means if you want to have one pair every day and not have to wash them every day, you're going to have to spend £100 on these knickers. That will last for a long time. And yes, we probably spend the same amount on sanitary products. But why can't I just be giving them for free? This is my fucking body, you know? Like, you don't have to pay for toilets all the time and we all pee and poo. So why do I have to pay for all this other stuff? Rant over. Okay, let's see how it goes. 
Alrighty, so it's been 24 hours since my period started and after about 12 hours I realised that actually I couldn't go on without using anything because my period was getting heavier and heavier. My great pants were getting <laughs> soggier and soggier and then I was like well do I sleep on a towel should I be putting some kind of cloth in my knickers so I gave up and I went and got some sanitary towels now I don't like sanitary towels <laughs> who does ultra towels long ultra towels with wings this is what they look like now the great pink packaging they don't smell of anything so in the last 12 hours I've now used three pads and I've got this much stuff accumulating. <laughs> this happened. It's making me realise how much mess is created almost when I don't use my flipping menstrual cup because with a cup you put it in and then you take it out and you see the blood, you look at the blood, you can pour it away, wash the cup, put it in. You know, you don't have anything stuck in your pants. And then I had diarrhoea, which tends to happen on the first day of my period, I just poo loads. So it was just like, a, it's been a mess down there, like pooey, bloody, pubicky, hairy mess. I'm not enjoying it. <sighs> yeah, I'm really regretting the fact that I don't have my menstrual cup anymore. So 24 hours later and I've got through two more sanitary pads. I found that the blood that was getting stuck in my pubic hair was actually really annoying. It meant that every time I wiped it felt like I was like pulling through the hair and it was uncomfortable. I had to have two showers yesterday just so I could feel like I was cleaning myself properly. If I had a B day I would have used that though. Douched the vulva and surrounding area and I just generally feel like I smell more because I have all the blood coming out it's making me really aware of like mm, what's the, the fragrance that's coming out of my underwear yeah I'm, I'm sort of ready for my period to finish rather than feeling like I'm enjoying this period of time I'm just like oh I just want to get to a point where I don't have to have the pads in anymore was thinking about using some tampons, purchasing some and um, and using them, but I just don't like tampons, so I'm choosing not to do that. That is my right. <laughs> um, and here's another shot of all the waste I feel like I'm producing. So yeah, um, I'll put another pad in.